Love of Kill Episode 8 Road to the finale Start na sa anime na to Kaya pala pinas out ni Riyang si Shato He's gonna take it upon himself to um Well He basically offered himself to the enemy Kaya Jinon Then uh, We eventually found uh, Meron sa mga kasabwat uh, One of them is Nika Itinago pala ni Riyang si Shato Sa isang uh, Storage cabin Doon mismo sa cruise ship Tapos may, nakap- may pa nakalagay sa Kanyang pinagtaguan Don't use But eventually Jim uh, Was able to locate Shato Whom Well Before this He himself um, got attacked. Okay, tinambangan dito si Jim. The problems didn't stop there, right? Yung uh, yung tumambang kay Jim, yun ang sumalubo sa kanila. And well, through Jim's help, Shato was able to disable uh, disable this attacker. And Shato thought, "Uy, teka." Merong Pero tinatawag nung araw to Teka Kinuha niya rito yung cellphone ng Nung attacker nila And Well It just uh, Probably he wa- She was uh, Phoning the last uh, The last contact person na tinawagan nito Pinakita nga in the episode It was Donnie Pero nakalagay dun sa Sa phone ng attacker Dad Final scene Ayan na, ipinresenta na nila Jinon at Nika si Riyanga kay Donnie. And well, si ne- well, Donnie just said, Welcome, Riyanga Song. Let's break this episode down now. Critic sub style. Pace! I had those road to the finale feels. Mainly because of the pacing. Kasi, it was an excruciating pacing. Pero, moderate. Okay? It's neither slow nor fast. So, talagang, this new enemy is out to kill both Shato and especially si Riyang Ha. As we've seen in the backstory of the last episode, kung binilisan nila ito, hindi maintindihan ang episode na to. Kung, binag- kung binagalan nila masyado ito, people will lose interest watching. Siguro, by the first half of the episode, wala na. People are watching other things na. Tama-tama lang yung pacing. Moderate but excruciating. Halatang nadidihado na ang mga bida rito. Flow naman. First gear shift was when Jim was Jim was attacked by this um uh, by 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 this by this asilan. Nung tinambangan siya rito. Why did I call it a gear shift? Well, it just goes to show you how how devious an enemy Donnie is. Maraming galama ito. Unlike how who was just acting on his own. Nonetheless, it's a gear shift. It set the tone for the episode. Um, second gear shift was when Ayun na. Nung Well, the moment Ryang had told Nika to to watch his mouth. Ay, if, if, if you seen the episode, mga ka-lifestyle, halata na dito na piss off sa kanya talaga si, si Nika. No brainer of a gear shift. Well, if you want, if you want, uh, look at things through Riyangha's eyes, he probably wants to play, he probably wants to play along, but, well, ika siguro ni Riyangha, Okay, I'll play along. But we're gonna use my rules. Nang, well, sigurado hindi nalalaman ni Nika ito at ni, ni Jinon. Dito, pinakita ni Riyang ha, that even without a gun, he is still dangerous. Final gear shift is the scene where um, Shato and Jim were able to subdue their their attacker. Yung 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 tatambang sa anak Jim in a previous scene. Why did I call it a gear shift? Well, 
This is where Sato will probably um, get a clue as to how Ryang is going to take care of the rest for her. Sinabi ni Ryang ngayon in the previous episode. Now, probably she now has an idea na kilala ni Ryang ha lahat ito. Nonetheless, it's still a gear shift. Kala nyo yung final scene na no? No. Seem, it's too simple to be a gear shift. So these three gear shifts that I saw, um, yeah, since we're in the road to the finale, all of them can play a role in the final four episodes of this anime. Plot-wise, isang backstory sequence lang yung nakita ko rito eh. Na, kinonfirm lang na matagal nang kilala ni Riyang, ni Riyang ha si Shato. But Shato has no, I don't know why, no memories of it. Hazy, according to her. So, that backstory, that little backstory sequence is, is key to... Um, to their connection to one another, the, the two main protags. So you can't just you can't just possibly toss that aside. Hindi simple backstory ito. And yeah, if you, if you ask me, it's a crucial one. Kaya malinis pa rin ang plot mga ka lifestyle. This is. Uh, this is a, it's a rarity these days that backstory sequences are, um, are are this crucial to a road to the finale. Uh, I find this crucial. Kaya, for me, it's still a clean plot. You can set it aside, pero you can't ignore it uh, all throughout the episode. Ako, binalikan ko at binalikan ko yung, yung backstory sequence na yun eh. So, it got, it got me to thinking na, okay, paano naging, may ugnayan na pala sila, Riyaha at Shato that time na. Shato was still, uh, was still a little girl. And si Riyaha, medyo binatilyo na. Siya pa nga yung nag-drive eh. Pero, bakit hindi matanda ni Shato yun? Bakit nung pilot lang niya nakilala si Riyang ha? Uh, there's a lot of questions to be answered there. Okay? And, well, you can only achieve that through a clean plot. Kumaga, there weren't, uh, there weren't additional questions to be answered here. Yun lang. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, Love of Kill, Episode 8. <laughs> oh, two thumbs up. Let's deep dive into that backstory sequence a bit. Okay, mga ka-lifestyle. Si Abel Dunkworth, yung umampon kay Shato, ipinakita niya kay Shato, ang isang bangkay na ang pangalan ay Riyang Hasong. Hindi ro maalala ni siya, hindi ro ma hindi ro kilala ni Shato. Kumunon nga eh. Uh, do you do you know him? Tinanong nga ni ni Abel noon. Eh sinabi lang ni Shato, no. Ngayon ang tanong, uli, kay I I asked this question in a previous review of this anime. Sino ngayon ang Riyang Hasong? na nandito ngayon sa anime. Na, na, wow, okay. Ito na natin yung pinakamasugid naman ni Ligo na naki, nakita ko sa anime, eh, alright? Ito na natin yung eh. So, who is, who is this Riyang Song now? Kung meron talaga natagpuang bangkay, na yun ang pangalan. Yun din na nakita ang bangkay doon sa kotse. So, Well, we, that question is yet to be answered. And the backstory sequence, I, uh, I got to admit, mga ka-lifestyle, it did not answer that particular question. 
kinonfirm lang yung ugnayan nila Shato at Rianha na ganong katagal na. Pero, hindi maalala ni Shato. Hindi niya madandaan. Well, uh, she said it already in the last epi- in, in, the, in the previous episode. Um, she said it to Rianha. You're so seared into my memory, it makes me sick. Probably. Um, her subconscious wants to forget Rianga as much as possible. Repress memories? Pwede. That's something uh, you, you should, maybe you should call a psychiatrist for that. You should call a, um, an expert shrink for that. Para may palabas yun. But anyway... The road to the finale of this anime has has started mga ka lifestyle tutok pa more. Kung hindi niyo pa uh, if you haven't uh, caught an episode of Love of Kill, I strongly suggest you um you start catching up. Para maintindihan niyo ang road to the finale. So again, Love of Kill episode 8 two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for this anime mga ka lifestyle. Wow, sila ba sa manunika ha? gusto ko talaga makita na nasampo lang siya ni Rianga eh. so Patreon wait for my next upload regarding this anime and for you and for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD oh ano ba magagawa nyo edi chill chill lang see you in the next review